Hey there Taurus, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your general weekly reading. Um, anything you guys need is going to be in the description box down below, as well as information for my Instagram if you guys would like to follow me over there. Um, I do have personal readings open right now for $25.25. Um, all the information you guys need on that will be at the very bottom of the description box since it's the thing that I added in the most recently. That's why it's all the way down at the bottom. All right, but all of that information is down there. So we are going to go ahead and get started on your reading here, Taurus. What are we getting for Taurus? Ooh, I like that so far. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm pulling a 12 card spread and an overall energy, um, and I'm going to clarify, all right? So just keep that in mind. I am going to clarify. So judgment, Scorpio, and Aries energy. Um, I feel like higher powers are kind of, you know, they're always, they're in everything, right? But I feel like they're kind of stepping in um, more now than ever, okay, uh, for this week. There's something big coming up here. You have the Ace of Wands underneath this. Um, so I feel like there could be some kind of offer for some of you guys. This could be a gift activating. Um, yeah, and I feel like this has been going on for a while if that's the case, okay? I think you've been very hesitant with this or you've had a lot of conflict with this gift, okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like you are finally, um, you're finally coming into a place of balance, but I feel like you're not going to be able to do it alone, okay? I think that, um, that help is on the way, okay, when it comes to whatever that is that you are trying to, um, navigate or maintain in a sense is how I feel, but, um, I think some kind of ending could be coming up for some of you guys, and if that's the case, whatever is happening here, it's been playing out for a while, it's been going in this direction for a while, so it's nothing that's going to shock you, um, is how I feel. Now, for a lot of you, um, I feel like it could go one of two ways as, as well, especially with judgment being the overall energy. If you've been putting in the work on your passions, they're going to pay off, okay? If you've been working on other things, I feel like, you know, you could have some uh, trouble this week, okay? If you've been doing things you don't want to do, if you've been saying yes when you want to say no, I feel like this week is going to be very um, troubling, okay? Um, of course, you can always turn that around. You have free will. We have the will of fortune out here. So I was just very drawn to it as soon as I said that. So keep that in mind. Things can always shift, okay? Um, so yeah, you move from this two of wands energy to the emperor. So in the two of wands, that is a young emperor. It's Mars and Aries. Mars is Aries' natural ruler, right? Um, so all it takes is him kind of taking the lead on things, um, and, you know, putting in the work, putting that plan into action, and then he moves into this emperor status. Uh, he moves into this place of authority and power because he grabbed the will in his own life, right? Um, I think for some of you guys, there could be a situation here that's hardened you for whatever reason. It could have involved a water sign. Um, but I think that something slipped away from you, um, and I feel like it's put you in a tough position. For a while where you don't really want to move okay that emperor card to me can be a card of stillness um not necessarily stagnancy but it's someone who is very firm and you know in place is what i feel like saying uh you have the page of cups here so i do feel like it's time to move out of that energy it's time to be more open and receptive and fluid you know in your thinking in your emotions um in general in life it's time to be more open to the things that are coming your way time to be more receptive okay the will of fortune can sometimes represent karma you know the page of cups can also represent a very kind caring compassionate and giving individual if you're in a very bitter hard and resentful kind of energy maybe that's because you've been giving to other people and that's your karma okay you can receive karma for not doing right by yourself so we do have the six of wands here jupiter and leo I think that you are getting a lot of recognition, um, attention, appreciation this week as well. Uh, you have the Three of Wands too. So I do think there's something that you're sending out here. This can be a card of delegation. So if you've been taking on the work of others, if you've been helping others, I think you're putting their own responsibilities back in their hands. Uh, that could be what that Two of Wands is about as well. Okay, uh, some of you guys could have money coming in this week, but I do feel like there is a big shift that's taking place. Uh, Mercury and Sagittarius, we do have the Two of Pentacles. 
um, Jupiter and Capricorn. I feel like towards the end of the week, things could be a little rocky. Um, you could feel a little bit uncertain as to whether or not you made the right decision on something in the beginning of the week, but you did, okay? It's important to know that you did, and I think you'll get over this hump very quickly, all right? You have the Five of Cups here as well. So for some of you guys, you may be feeling a little bit of guilt or grief, um, but I'm mostly feeling guilt. Uh, you're feeling a little bit guilty for closing something out or for denying someone something, okay? Uh, but I feel like it's important that you did that. You're breaking some kind of habit, preventing it from happening again. Um, so that's what I feel is taking place here. You have the Ten of Swords, Sun, and Gemini energy. I think you're closing something out for good, and it feels like it's some kind of toxic pattern, and because of that, you're having a victory, okay? That's your karma. You did right by you, okay? And that's what matters the most. Let's see what's going on here. Cancerian energy with that uh, chariot. What's going on with this top row? Nope, that's too many. What's going on with this top row, please? I'm going to pull one for each. What's going on with that top row? Queen of Cups, Cancerian Energy. How about this Emperor here? The hair font, Taurus. Again, very stubborn, strict kind of uh, energy because the hair font does represent tradition. It can be someone who is a little bit stuck in their ways, all right? And how about this Page of Cups? But since we have the Queen of Cups showing up back here, you know, I feel like the, the box that you're a little bit stuck in here, Taurus, is caring for others, you know? Uh, queen of Cups is a very kind and caring, nurturing kind of queen, right? What's going on with this Page of Cups? I just feel like it's time to put the ball back in their court here when it comes to their own problems. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune? Okay, the King of Pentacles. Um, Taurus, that's your energy, okay? Um, I think you've just been the light for too long, okay? And in doing that, you have not been the light for you. That's how that feels to me. And you've been kind of deceiving yourself in a sense, losing yourself and the issues of others, okay? And taking on others' pain and trying to make others feel better about things, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like you've been kind of neglecting yourself here. Um... In a sense, you've got the devil clarifying this page of cups. So maybe you feel like this is the way things are supposed to be. Uh, with that hair font showing up, maybe that's just how you were brought up is to, you know, give the shirt off your back or whatever it is that you want to call it here. But I feel like people have taken advantage of that, okay? And like I said, I feel as if you've neglected yourself. Um, and yeah, I think it's time to set boundaries with that king of pentacles. Yeah, he will care for others, but he's got that wall up as well. Never forget that. Look look there at him. He's got that pointed shoe out. That can represent defensiveness. So, so that's not always a good thing, right? I feel like there is a need to have balance. I do want to stress that. But there is a need to set boundaries as well. Um, you know, all that greenery around him, you can't really tell where he begins, where his environment, or where he ends and where his environment begins, all right? So I feel like there is a need to kind of stay true to yourself, okay? Not true to your roots, true to what you were taught, uh, how you were taught to be with people, or how people taught you to be towards them, uh, but staying true to yourself, knowing how you should be towards you, okay? What's going on with this Six of Wands here? Nine of Cups, Jupiter in Pisces. So two Jupiter cards. I like that a lot. How about this Three of Wands? The Lovers, Gemini. How about this Six of Pentacles? The High Priestess, Pisces. And the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Swords, or excuse me, the Knight of Wands. Sagittarian energy, okay? I feel like you guys are moving into a really good space, but it just feels very unfamiliar to you. The Nine of Cups clarifying the Six of Wands. I think you're getting a lot of praise and recognition, even if it's not in the physical, okay? I think your guides, angels, ancestors are cheering you on, pushing you in a new direction. Um, you know, this could be one of those things where you're feeling pulled towards something and you're like, I don't know why I'm feeling pulled towards this, but I just feel drawn to it. So I'm going to go for it. And I feel like that is a support system in the non-physical realm here. Um, with that nine of cups showing up, you do have the three of wands to the lovers. Some of you guys could be telling somebody goodbye here that you had a really strong connection with. For others of you, you could be putting 
the work back on someone you love. But I feel like this is a good thing. I think that this was their work to begin with. This was their trauma, their, you know, shit to begin with. Okay, it's, their, it's theirs to deal with, period. All right, clarifying the six of pentacles is the high priestess. All right, so like I said, there's something within you here that is telling you to do this, you know. Um, and it might feel selfish, but I feel as if this is coming from um, your ego in a sense, right? Um, because maybe your ego wants to be this person who is very concerned with um, image, right? Uh, you want to help others. You want to be seen as someone who is very kind and giving. Sixes, you got two sixes right here in this row, and that is a number of um, generosity, right? Uh, so I feel like maybe for some of you, your ego wants to be seen as that person. Uh, so maybe that's something you don't really recognize. The high priestess represents something that's hidden, all right? So I feel like your guides, angels, ancestors are pushing you in the opposite direction here to care for yourself, all right? Or else you're going to reap the consequences. You do have the eight of wands here. Clarifying that is the knight of wands. So like I said, it's this urge to move in a different direction. You don't really know why, but you're doing it, okay? And I think that because you don't know why just yet, um, it's causing a little bit of um, anxiety or guilt or something of that nature because this Two of Pentacles showing up here, um, it's not what you're used to. What's going on with the Two of Pentacles? Four of Wands, Venus and Aries. How about this? Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Um, Sun and Capricorn, Ten of Swords, King of Wands, Leo, and the Chariot, Judgment, uh, Scorpio and Aries, alright, so I feel like you guys are definitely having to make a decision to cut someone out, could be a group of people, it could be a Leo, um, but overall, this two of uh, pentacles being clarified by this four of wands. Four of wands is a card of laying down roots. So obviously, things feel unfamiliar to you right now. Okay, um, that's what this two of pentacles energy is about. It's did I make the right decision? This doesn't feel right, but it's not that it doesn't feel right. It's just that it doesn't feel familiar. I think that you're in your soul. It feels right. Okay, uh, but in your ego, it feels wrong. Uh, by wrong, it means. You know, I feel like this means unsafe, okay? It feels unsafe because you don't know it. Uh, you're not sure of the outcome of this new beginning, what life looks like without this connection um, or without doing for people and giving all that you have to others, all right? So that's just um, the vibe that I feel you moving into is not really knowing how to navigate, not really knowing who you are without you know, being this very giving, kind, caring, compassionate individual, you've got another six here on the bottom of the deck, right? But the four of pentacles can represent somebody who is kind of in hiding, in isolation, uh, clutching onto that pinnacle very tightly. Fours do represent foundation, structure, security, all right? So, you know, kind of in a sense, for those that I'm connecting with, this is resonating with, um, giving up all you have is like what you've always known and that's just a sad it's a sad energy to be in all right and i think that you've known it for so long that anything more than that um is a sad energy to be in it's just because it's unfamiliar all right i feel like you really need to stay committed to this cutoff i think you need to stay committed to this new beginning this new vision you have all right some of you don't even have that vision yet you just know that you don't belong here with these people okay you have the chariot and the judgment card you know that you belong somewhere bigger somewhere better you know that there is a higher purpose for you than you know neglecting yourself all right that's how that feels to me you have the six of cups here which literally is sun and scorpio energy it's burning away the past to bring about brighter days there is a hidden treasure here in this new beginning i promise but you've got to walk away from these people who are taking advantage of you so that's what i'm feeling here for you taurus i hope that it was helpful i want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and you all have a great week bye